everybody, Zeev Simon here. I'm the creator of Surgical Master. Welcome to this video. And in the previous one, I talked to you about a disaster in the aesthetic zone where a tooth had a root perforation. And I showed you the management. And also I told you a couple of things where I think I could have done it a little bit better. And if you didn't see it, go back and watch it. Because I'm going to go back to this case during the upcoming webinar on February 18th, Disasters in the Aesthetic Zone, and talk about some of the mistakes that I've made and what I learned from them. In this video, I'm going to talk about another disaster in the aesthetic zone, disaster number two, where this is a young patient that presented with severe external and ex internal root resorption. There was a history of trauma, and the tooth turned yellow over the years. It always bothered the patient, and there was also a slight loss of the interproximal tissue. And this patient always knew that this tooth will not last a lifetime. It, it will have to be extracted at one point in time and replaced. And if you look at it, you can already tell this is a disaster in the aesthetic zone. There's going to be difficulties in extraction. There's going to be some issues with missing tissue. And it's going to be a challenge. So again, I wouldn't recommend you jump in and treat the case immediately. Spend some time studying, studying the case and the challenges it presents with. Understand the patient. Communicate with the patient about these challenges. So in a way, you can lower their expectations because if you think about it, this is not a type of tooth replacement where the optimal aesthetic results are guaranteed. There's already pre-existing tissue loss between the teeth. This is going to be a very difficult extraction. We're expecting some bone and tissue loss after the extraction. And we will have some challenges with uh, possibly the placement. So don't rush. Look at the problems, show them to your patient so they're not surprised that uh, you, you may not get uh, an ideal result. And in order to prepare for the procedure, you need to study the case very carefully ahead of time. And one of the simplest ways to do this is to try and predict, uh, first of all, the extraction process. You can imagine that this tooth is not going to come out as one piece. And feel free to mention it to the patient because you are trying to prepare yourself, but you also need to prepare the patient for the procedure. So if I had to predict where this tooth is going to break, probably around the coronal aspect of the tooth, where there's a, a pretty weak spot, uh, there's probably going to be another breakage somewhere in between. And if I'm lucky, I'll be able to take the root tip out. So we're looking at two main components, both the coronal and the apical part, and somewhere in between, uh, there will probably be some root fragments and particles that uh, can be expected during the extraction process. So when I extracted this tooth, I was correct in the ballpark. And then there were some fragments that came out. And eventually, I removed the root tip. Now, you may be wondering, how did you do that? What was your technique? So I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, I made a vertical releasing incision on the lateral incisor, reflected the full thickness flap, preserved the papilla between 8 and 9, and used long and thin straight burrs in order to create some space between the root and the fragments and the bone so I can remove this tooth completely. Now, in the process, I created a disaster myself. I thinned out the buckle plate too much. I had to create some uh, room for my instruments to rescue this root on the distal and also on the palatal aspect. And all in all, remove too much bone that is going to be critical when it comes to implant placement and in general for this case. So in the webinar, I'm going to talk about how I do these procedures now with less stress less complications, and also less destruction of the bone. So I, I look forward to sharing this with you next week. And if this is your method of extraction, don't feel bad. I mean, I, I don't feel bad about this case. I did what I needed to do, and this was my knowledge at the time. All I'm saying is there, there are better ways now, and I'd like to share this with you. So once the tooth was completely removed, I grafted the, the socket with an allograft. It was obviously not a good sight for an immediate implant. I used a collagen sponge on the occlusal part of the, of the socket. This is the compartment technique with gut sutures. 
and used also gut sutures to suture the vertical releasing incision. And if you look carefully just at the end of the extraction process, you can see that I already lost the papilla on the mesial of the lateral. Not a great approach when it comes to the aesthetic zone. So we're going to have some deficiency in the papilla between the future implant and the lateral incisor. All in all, this patient healed well. I'm not going to talk about the implant procedure. It's not the focus of this video, but you can tell that the bone regenerated quite well on the buccal surface, and I was able to place an implant in a good position and in good bone. And once it healed, this implant was able to be restored with an aesthetically looking crown. And this patient was very happy with the result. But from my own personal perspective, this was not without stress, mostly because of the extraction process and the uh, unnecessary amount of bone that I had to remove in order to remove this root completely. And in the webinar next week, I'm going to talk about what is the better method, in my opinion nowadays, to remove teeth with severe root resorption without compromising the bone like I did in this case. I'm going to show you what I learned from this case and how I improved over the years and I'd like to share this with you. So I'm going to see you February 18th at 4 p.m. to talk about the disasters in the aesthetic zone. Lots of cases, lots of techniques and strategies on how to handle these disasters. In order to make the best out of this webinar, I recommend you, of course, watch this video and the previous one because I'm going to relate back to them. Also answer the survey. Let me know what are your challenges when it comes to the aesthetic zone. You should have seen a link on my Facebook or you had this email to you. So if you didn't, go back and fill out the survey. It's about uh, three questions. And it's going to help me make this webinar more relevant to your needs and your challenges so you can benefit from it. So I look forward to seeing you next week. And until then, keep learning, keep trying and practicing, keep getting better so you can come on top when it comes to disasters in the aesthetic zone. See you soon. Hi everybody, Zeev Simon here. I'm the creator of Surgical Master. Did you ever have a real problem extracting a tooth in the aesthetic zone? Some teeth have severe fractures, bad resorption and infections, and you thought to yourself, boy, this is going to be difficult. It's going to be challenging. It's a real disaster. I'd like to invite you to a free webinar on how to deal with disasters in the aesthetic zone. It's happening February 18th at 4 p.m. Pacific time. In this webinar, I'm going to talk about the different challenges and disasters that I encounter in my practice and what are some of the solutions for that. It's going to be completely live. Go to surgicalmasterwebinar.com to register for the webinar and get more instructions on how to attend. It's very, very simple. All you need is an internet connection, a computer, a tablet, or a phone in order to attend. I'm going to be joined by Dr. Dan Hagey from Toronto, Canada. He's a real fantastic clinician in implant surgery with a lot of experience, and I look forward to our interactions. Once you register, I'm going to send you some additional information and videos on different disasters in the aesthetic zone. I'm also going to ask you a few questions about your own dilemmas and challenges when it comes to extracting teeth in the aesthetic zone. I'm going to take your questions and incorporate them into the webinar. So we're going to have a great learning experience together. It's going to be live and interactive. I look forward to seeing you at the webinar on how to deal with disasters in the aesthetic zone. Go to surgicalmasterwebinar.com to register February 18th at 4 p.m. Pacific time. I look forward to a great experience. See you then.